Japan's traditional culture combined several key values with influences from its Western neighbors, China and Korea. Japanese culture prizes living in harmony with nature, the beauty of the imperfect and temporary, and the appeal of following a set of rules. At the heart of Japan's inheritance from China is Buddhism, especially Zen Buddhism, a form of the religion that emphasized daily meditation. The Japanese combined that with Shinto, a native belief in spirits, called kami, which were found in the beauty of nature. Over a thousand years, Japanese culture developed around several Buddhist and Shinto ideas and ideals, including respecting and appreciating nature. Nature is literally built into traditional Japanese architecture, wood for the structure, thatch for the roof, bamboo for the doors, straw and woven grass for floor mats. Gardens are often part of a building's design, a thoughtful balance of hard rocks and soft moss, rooted trees and flowing water. The most famous ancient Japanese artwork depicts scenes of nature, including the woodblock prints and ink paintings of Hiroshiga, who specialized in landscapes, birds and flowers, and Hokusai, known for his 36 views of Mount Fuji. Japanese tradition also finds beauty in the imperfect and the temporary, like cherry blossoms still celebrated in nationwide festivals. Lovely pink flowers, each unique, that bloom, then fall and die. Great value is also put on simplicity, the idea that it is more attractive, for example, to use only one or a few flowers in an arrangement than many. Even greater value is put on an idea that something is more appealing when it follows a set of rules. Two forms of traditional Japanese theater, no and kabuki, have rigid, almost ritualistic structures. No dramas combine music, lyrics, and dance to tell stories from ancient Japanese history and legend. Actors wear carved wood masks that represent a set number of stereotyped characters and stories that have not changed in centuries. Kabuki theater has seen more changes over time. Centuries ago, kabuki featured women dancers and singers in popular stories that featured flirting and romance. When government and religious leaders saw the performances as too suggestive and rowdy, kabuki theater was taken over by men who played all the roles in traditional dress and makeup in stage performances that ran four or five hours long. One aspect of Japanese culture reflects all of these ideas and values, the Japanese tea ceremony. The ritual serving of green tea to guests follows a rigid set of rules, from the placement of tea-making equipment on the table to the hand used by the guests to take the bowl of tea and the number of turns of the bowl before sipping it. The bowl itself is often only partially glazed, half smooth, half rough, deliberately imperfect. The bitter tea is served with something sweet, a balance of tastes. The tea ceremony is often performed in a special tea room with a wood-framed alcove in which there is a simple flower arrangement and a scroll with Japanese writing or calligraphy, another critical inheritance from China. Japan's culture offers a shining example of how traits passed from one culture to another combine with existing ideas to grow and enrich civilization as a whole. <laughs>